You know, we've heard a national perspective today. We've heard a lot from our friends in Texas, and we've also heard from Dr. Hannah Gay. And at this time, I'd like to turn it back over to the man who made all of this possible, um, his leadership, and that's Governor um, Phil Bryant, and he's gonna talk to us about the certification of the Healthcare Industry Zone Master Plan Communities. Governor. I will tell you, I am amazed to see the work that has been done. Uh, the planners that have been involved with these communities, and this is not the capital city, or it's not Hattiesburg or Tupelo. If you look at Belzona and others like that in Yazoo City, Canton, the wonderful leadership that the mayor's providing there in all these cities, they're doing a remarkable job. These plans just did not happen overnight. A lot of work, stakeholders involved. Now, it's implementation time. It is time to make sure that they come to fruition. If I looked at those numbers correctly, and if all of those plans would work as they have been proposed, we would create some 5,700 jobs. That's almost three Toyota plants. Maybe 2,000 folks that work there, a little under that. So that, that's, that's maybe three Toyota plants for the state of Mississippi. Now, if we thought if we thought that we could get three more Toyota plants, we would turn the world upside down. We'd be asking the legislature for $100 million in money so we could go incentivize to get three more automobile plants that have 2,000 employees apiece. We can do it. We've already saw it. We know the plan's there. We know we can make it work. So it's been a remarkable day. I want to thank all of you for holding in, for being here. The mayors, the leadership, the legislative team that's been a part of it, my team, MDA that does a remarkable job. I know, Blake, they must look and say, there he goes again. Because tomorrow the governor's going to be calling us saying, all right, now the plans are out there. Let's move forward. Let's make sure we do our part. Let's all at MDA make sure that we challenge ourselves again to make this work. That's what we do every day. As you saw when we, someone asked earlier how many economic developers were in the audience, I raised my hand. That's exactly what I do. And now by the power invested in me as governor of the state of Mississippi, I hereby make you an economic developer. <laughs> Go forward and develop. Now I understand that we have the president of the American Medical Association, and I hope I get this right. Hoven, Dr. Hoven. I got it. Artis D. Hoven. Dr. Hoven has been uh, a physician, internal medicine, and infectious disease specialist. I won't go through all of it because I won't introduce her again. But it is not every day with, that we get the president, the president of the American Medical Association here in town. Dr. Hoven, welcome so much. Thank you. Wonderful day. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, but how excited I am.